Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind on that terrorist move. I'm not a change of your EL. And I'm in to care how God do these motherfucking responsibilities. And we gotta talk about this motherfucking Grand Tron. We got a motherfucking Grand Tron between motherfucking Chiron, the moon, because the moon just slid her monkey ass right into Sagittarius, so you already know what the fuck gonna be going down right now. And we got motherfucking Mercury still in motherfucking Leo. So for the most part, we got this grand trine. And we already know a trine gives gifts. But when we talk about a grand trine, see, this that motherfucking energy right here that a lot of motherfuckers be using to create religions and shit right here. See, it was a motherfucking time that there was only motherfucking three stars in the sky. See, shit got accumulated. Shit ain't just start off with this shit. Shit ain't just pop up out of nowhere with this shit. Same way you ain't just pop out of your, mother, your mother's asshole with your siblings. Now... Shit, we can even argue of you being a fucking triplet or a twin. You ain't just, or a Siamese twin. Your ass still came out slightly different in a different space and location. So I don't give a fuck. And there's no way you can even run from this shit. So at the same time, we're dealing with that kind of energy right now. Grand trines. That means grand scheme, grandparent, grand energy, grandeur, illusions of grandeur, uh, Grandious, uh, grand, all, all motherfucking uh, grand scales, grand pricks, grand prix, all with the, with the fucking the, the grand man event, the, get the grand cut, all that shit, all shit dealing with grants right now. You get a motherfucker a grant for your school loan, and motherfucker they give you a couple grand. So you know what I'm saying. At the same time, we in this motherfucker. This is why we chop up grams and shit. Listen, it goes deep when we talk about this motherfucking uh, grand trine energy. That energy then gave us so much information with those light spectrums. I don't even know where the motherfuckers start. But it all started off as three motherfuckers getting together. You know what I'm saying? Like three motherfuckers getting together, creating a pack or something like that. Even with the um, angel and the Buffy verse and shit. You got the wolf, ram, and the heart. You know what I'm saying? Even with the religious aspects. You got the father, son, the holy spirit. You know, every system you're going to have somebody utilizing this motherfucker trying energy. Which just is just a planetary alignment. This is what you need to understand about planetary alignments and shit like that. When y'all see things like Star or David and all that shit, all of these was a, a period of time. And whatever motherfucking Messiah or whatever being was born and at and that was their birthday, these motherfuckers got motherfucking some superior ass information within them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spirits it, spirits chose the heli ass NATO chart to come down here and take over rulership and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's all this shit be about. Periods of times that shit didn't happen. AKA planetary alignments. That's why we're talking about this Grand Tron right here. So, for the most part, now, the Grand Tron is in fire. Now, let, now Grand Tron gives a gift. So, it's going to give everybody up under this energy a grand gift. A grand present. In the present, so we can feel the presence of that energy. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, when we talk about uh, this grand trine, the energies that this grand trine is formulated in is Chiron, Mercury, and the Moon. So here's the here's the gifts that that we're gonna actually have right now. We're gonna actually have the gift of reacting and responding effectively to our stumbles and falls in our lives, and being able to communicate these things. In, in a well articulate way. You know what I'm saying? Now that energy can play out negative or positive. But y'all see how I did that? Y'all see how I did that? I took the moon, which is closest to us, right? It's our womb, our mother, our world. So for the most part, the world that we are in, that's the first thing we gotta do. AKA react, respond, receive. You, you took in your first breath. So this is the first awareness. You know what I'm saying? The first soul body light you created for yourself as a, whatever plexus or whatever the situation you wanna call it. Now for the most part, no, it's not the solar plexus. But for the most part, when you talk about the motherfucking moon, your macabre and shit like that, right? This is what react to us. This is what makes us respond and react first. So we're going to have a gift in that area of life because the moon is wrapped up in the energy of the trine. So for the most part, one of our gifts is being able to react and respond effectively and be in the right state of being at the time, because the moon represents your state of being. Also, the first awareness that you could be aware of your state of being. Then it's gonna be we're gonna be able to react and respond to Chiron stumbles and falls and scrapes and wounds that we need to learn how to carry bandages for next time we go through that astral travel. We're able to react and respond to those moments more effectively, more into harmony. You know what I'm saying? Situations that may have bothered us or played us. Roll blockages 
that play as a person, place, or thing in our lives don't affect us as much as it would have without this alignment. You see what I'm saying? So we're able to see those kind of moments right now and react and respond to them more harmoniously, not so negatively like we did before, because this is a grand trial, not a negative alignment. So this alignment creates harmonious friction, harmonious death, harmonious pleasures. So people who might even die or get killed right now, it won't be from a negative situation. It might be from an accident because they was doing something that they was indulging into and whatever they was indulging into was a pleasure or something that they liked doing. So even though they got killed, they got killed into doing that. So it was a harmonious. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's weird. People might drown at the pool right now. People might get in a lot of car accidents right now. Uh, trying to get out and enjoy something at the summertime and things. It, it, it goes deep. But for the most part, um, when we talk about we're going to be able to react and respond to our stumbles and falls more effectively right now and our mishaps and shit like that. Then also, we're going to be able to communicate and think about these things in the right way, in an intellectual way, to the point that it don't come across, it don't come across as intellectual or something that don't make sense. We're going to be able to, we're going to be able to logically communicate our stumbles and falls in a harmonious way because the way we are reacting to them and in the way our, in our true state of being within these stumbles and falls is in the right place. So that's the gift that this little grand trine is going to give us right there. So Chiron is kind of slowed down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't harshly hit us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, like like it would. So uh, keep that in mind too. And also Chiron is in retrograde. Mercury is in retrograde also. So both of them is slowed down. So you're able to effectively think about what you're going to say before you say it or or effectively analyze what's going on in your mind. And you're going to actually be able to assess why you in a circumstance that you keep stumbling and falling in. You're going to actually be able to see your faults in it and actually be able to like, OK, let me take myself out of the situation and appear like this. So this is the kind of grand trine it's given us. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's given us. I don't like to say blessings because that's being less. But if that's greater and then you are less, then I guess it's giving you blessings to be aware of something that you may have not been aware of on your own. But, you know, I like to I like to overstand shit. I don't like to understand shit. But for the most part. That's the gift that's given us. Now, like I said, you can have good gifts, bad gifts, uh, you know what I'm saying, good opportunities, bad opportunities. So for the most part, even though we all have this gift that we all got access to, you still have your own alignment. I still have my own alignment. So how we use this gift, how we use this energy is the key. See what I'm saying? It's the key. How you use the ability to react and respond to your stumbles and falls and communicate that to somebody else. How you use that right now is on you. Look at your natal chart. Look at your transits. Are you a manipulated person already? Because you are straight up trying to... This is how you get uh, business sharks, right? They, they will utilize and they got the access to get to do this right now because we all do. So if they already in their own natal chart are business savvy, right? Or sharks in the business world. And then we're going through this grand trial right now, right? This is how it would play out. This person will utilize, right? They will react and respond to a failure that they had, right? But they react and respond to it effectively, so they're able to communicate about it. Now, if this is a person in a position of power, like I said, business sharks, right? They will see, they, they will see this in someone else. They will see the stumbles and falls in someone else and then be able to assess and analyze or come to them logically in a way of making these people think that they need them or need this business in some way, shape, or form. So this business shark will be able to react and respond to his own stumbles and falls, but be able to see that into others, right? And be able to analyze and construct something that others are stumbling and falling over and be able to communicate that, aka salesperson, sell that shit, in order for you to react and respond to their business, and you're going to actually do it right now because it's the time for that. So if you're a person who's always getting overwhelmed by the energies, and you're not into this shit, you don't watch Archangel Uriel, you're not into flight astrology or nothing like that, then you're getting overwhelmed by this energy. You're letting other people use this gift on you, aka this business shark. So you're going to be experiencing a situation or a time right now if you're not into this shit as being the, um, as being the person that's going through a stumble and fall, Right now, and then the, the trine is going to make you react and respond to it. Now, if you're not into this shit and understand the energies, you're going to be mad and frustrated why you even got to deal with this right now. So because you're already 
um, lost in 3D, aka you might be at work, you might be dealing with another person, place, or thing, or circumstance, or situation, or responsibility. So it's already making you, so you already dealing with that. So when you get absorbed by these energies and shit like that, and, and these energies has the gift of forcing everybody to react and respond to their stumbles and fall, to their stumbles and falls, your stumbles, and, you're already lost in your stumbles and falls, and you're not even into astrology or nothing like that. So you like, damn. Why do I got to deal with this today? So now you fighting the shit when you're supposed to be utilizing this shit for yourself. And how you do that is react and respond to your own stumbles and falls, but don't align it with outside references. Like these people, places, and things is the reasons for your stumbles and falls. Now you need to understand one thing about this illusion. It, it, it always going to appear like the people, places, and things is the reason to your stumbles and falls and shit like that. Because that's how it comes. But once you get spiritually inclined, you start to understand that your state of being is actually is actually creating and manifesting these scenarios. So once you switch up your state of being and get out of that karma rotation spiral and get into another one, you no longer get affected by those energy vortex signatures of, of the mermaid karma in that area. You end up going into another one and start developing somewhere else. But you leave that spectrum. You see what I'm saying? So karma doesn't even always have to hit you. That's what y'all need to know also. You could be in a state of being amongst a, other, amongst another, a group of other spirit states, uh, spiritual state of beings, right? And y'all could be creating all kind of shit, shapes and forms in y'all lives, gangs and shit in front of y'all lives, right? But if you was to change your state of being, you won't receive any karmic from that. Now, depending on how much energy you put in that, in that first vortex, that's how much you're going to have to separate from. So if you put a lot of work in, you're going to have to do a lot of separating from work. So, yeah, you're going to be getting attacked and shit like that. But as long as you put in the energy work and change your state of being, you, you, can, you can release yourself from that karma. Even if you have to die and get killed. You have to be cool with that. Like, yeah, I know this is my time to go because I know where I'm going. I ain't going to be a part of this shit. This was my way to separate from that shit here. But you got to be spiritually strong. You can't be weak. Now, for the most part, now look. How does, um, now, how you make it work for you, right? Now, you need to react and respond to your own stumbles and falls and be able to analyze and communicate on what you done and how it caused reactions. And then once you do that with it, because everything is about yourself, astrology, the Bible, everything. So once you correlate everything to yourself, that's when you really could put yourself in someone else's shoes and see all the scenarios that they hit for them to even come to the conclusion to oppose you or anything in that scenario in the first place. And then that's when you will be able to firsthand see a motherfucker wrapped up in the energies and you be and you was using the energy for yourself. And you will be able to use them as energy. You use whatever they're paying attention about you. You'll be able to use that along with this energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, 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 this shit is real. It's like, it's real. But at the same time, it's like, it's not. <laughs> Like, so I don't really know, I don't really know how to break it down to y'all. It's just, you can't really break this down into logic. You just gotta feel it. You just gotta be there. You just gotta, and once you're there, you know, like, mm, yeah, this shit is real. This shit is real. Now, the kind of trine we're having is a fire trine. So this is dealing with seeing and feeling. So this is going to be changing, um, transforming. So, you know, the way that you feel and react in your state of being is going through a transformation right now. You see what I'm saying? The way that you think, communicate, and analyze is going through a transformation right now. You see what I'm saying? And your stumbles and falls and what have once appeared to be stumbles and falls are, um, that's going through a transformation now. So you do not see those as stumbles and falls anymore. You're now initiating and creating another way of seeing your stumbles and falls. So that even correlates with not even seeing them old stumbles and falls as stumbles and falls. You're looking at those as wisdom, or something that you needed to go through. Remind you, Chiron. This is dealing with Chiron. Chiron is an Aries. Cardinal fire. Initiating and creating new ways of how to see and feel about the world that is in. So the world that is in is in a, a, the Chiron spectrum. So the Chiron spectrum is initiating and creating new ways of how to see and feel about uh, turbulent situations and stumbles and falls. And things that may have not always been right. And things that's always lingering around you. So for the most part, that's um, you're, you're changing your perception on that. You're transforming and fighting with desire and passion anytime those old thought forms or, no, or those old stumbles and falls come back in your life, whether they play into the position of a person, place, or thing. You fight it aggressively to detach yourself from it because you, you're, you're trying to fight yourself into a new way of seeing and feeling about these circumstances and situations. So that can play out negatively or positively. Positively is it can play out as you separating from people, places, and things so you can be in the right state of being where you start manifesting the right people and places and things in your space. Negatively is you might burn bridges or do certain things 
unattended, like unattendedly, like you know what I'm saying, and amongst people that you really do care about, so, and, and then you might have been blind at the moment because of this alignment, and you got took over by the energies, and this person, place, or thing have been played as a representation of the energy, other than how you supposed to see them. As your own state of being. So you got blinded by the light at the moment and lashed out on something you wasn't supposed to lash out on. You see what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's you got to really think about these things. Also, when we talk about, uh, now, so, it's a, it's a, now, Chiron, that's Cardinal. Mercury is fixed. So everybody is going to have their own fixated way of seeing and feeling about things. And their own fixated way of transforming their thoughts. So people are not really trying to relate and consider other people, but they're willing to align other people's ideas together. So whether it has to be an argument or a friendly debate, people don't care about coming together. That's that Leo energy. We can all shine together and still be in our own secluded um, area on the stage. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This is where competition may come into uh, to play. So everybody's doing that with their intellect, the way they think and uh, communicate either with their self, which you're supposed to be doing, and um, uh, transform your own fixated way of thinking and communicating. But, you know, if you get overwhelmed by the energies, then you can play this out as you trying to, you, you're, you're forcing, you're going to try to force someone else to think the way you think. And so they can see and feel it the way you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that mercury. And that's when you get overtook by the energies. And if you're already, if you're a person who already vibrate high or you're already spiritually inclined, then you're going to have your way with people. And, and But you're going to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you're getting away with nothing because you're, you're, you're participating in a specific spiral vortex karma role. You know what I'm saying? And, and a person who do things like that, I don't see them changing their state of being no time soon. Because for them to even be in that state of being, it must be some type of shapes and forms that that lights and information that play out as pleasure that they like to indulge into in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's a concept, idea, or a person, or whatever. But at the same time, just for you to be there, I, I, can, I can see you from the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension. Like, yeah, that cloud ain't moving from that space and location no goddamn time soon. They not, they not switching their state of being no time goddamn soon. So for the most part, that's irrelevant to the fact but. Um, but for the most part, uh, I, might have, I might have to tell my daughter to hang that phone up. Hold on. Thought that's going to leave a message if I say, Marissa, hang that goddamn phone up. But for the most part, look. Now, now the grand motherfucking trying. Now, uh, Marissa, are you okay? Okay. Now, um... For the most part, with this motherfucking Grand Trine, now like I said, this Grand Trine is in fire. So, Mercury, now try not to get overtook by the energies and try to force anybody else to think in your way so they can see and feel about things in your own fixated way. Learn how to align and it don't have to be competition because it's almost, with Mercury and Leo, it's almost a sense of people like this kind of shit. They, they like to debate. They want to argue right now. But for it to be all cool and relatable... And every other signs don't play out like that all the time. Like Scorpios don't like that all the time. Scorpios will hate the fact that you even drug drug them to get to that level to have to argue like that. They don't want to keep going through that like it's something fun and shit like that. Uh, and then other signs also, you know what I'm saying? Aquariuses don't like that shit, you know what I'm saying? So for the most part, Aquariuses, it has to have a purpose. Even Sagittariuses. Sagittariuses don't even like that shit, you know what I'm saying? Le Leos, just because they fire, they might... They might Expressive, but they express themselves in three different ways when it comes to Aries and Sagittarius and Leo. And I can tell you that because my son is Aries, my moon is Sag, and my goddamn ascendant is Leo. And my Mercury is Aries. So for the boy, my part of fortune is Aries. But, it's another video. But for the most part, yeah. And then the moon. The moon is in Sagittarius. So for the most part, we're going to find ourselves reacting and responding to... Um, to the world that we are in in a mutable way. So everybody got gonna find they find themselves in a state of being of having multiple ways of reacting and responding to the world to things that's dealing with um religion, spirituality, morals, you know what I'm saying? Um philosophy, you know what I'm saying, broad philosophical points of views of things. Everybody gonna find themselves having mutable ways. AKA multiple ways, you know what I'm saying? Multiple ways of feeling or seeing about these things when it comes to spirituality, mysticism, mythology. Everybody right now are reacting and responding in mutable ways. Everybody got multiple ideas. Everybody not, not, 
Everybody not reacting and responding in a fixated way. People are reacting and responding very mobile, very mutable. People are willing to see things from other people's point of view. People are willing to react to other people's visions. People are willing to respond to other people's ways, state of beings, and things of that nature. It's just when we come to communicating it, now we want to communicate our own state of being because now Mercury is in Leo. And then once Chiron being in Aries, it, that's going to create a stumbling and fall, but it's going to also be a positive and negative. The positive is you're going to actually uh, initiate and create a new way of seeing and feeling about what you just experienced. So that's all. That's always wisdom. So that's always positive because that always create expansion. But the negative of it is you actually went through an experience that you didn't even actually have to go through. So you know this 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 trying goes through so many scenarios. You know what I'm saying? Like I could just break down alignments. I could do a whole video. Matter of fact, I think I think I'm gonna go live tonight and we're gonna talk about alignments because I want to talk about uh, each um, each um, period of time that we experienced. And these periods of times, we stamp them. We stamp them by drawing out the alignment, drawing out each planetary alignment. So if a planet was here, a planet was here, a planet was here, we get the star David and shit like that. It might have, it might have, that might have been a being's birthday that came here and had certain rulership and shit. Like, see, I'm not really thinking. So I want to actually give you the. This is why I don't care what civiliz what civilization <coughs> you go to. They dealt with astrology. <clears throat> now, we can sit here and argue with astronomy all we want, but for the most part, astronomy is astrology because it's astronomy is calculating astrology. Now, for the most part, we know to experience something, you had to receive that information first. So that came secondhand. So when you woke up and thought you seen the light, quote unquote, y'all think y'all seen, that's what made you start analyzing. So you start analyzing something that was already doing what it was doing. So the meaning and reasoning is oblivious to you. All you're doing is observing, analyzing. That's secondhand, regardless. Secondhand, <coughs> analyzing and observing and trying to calculate from an intellectual standpoint on what you think this thing is doing based upon you. And that becomes astronomy. But astrology is the meaning of reasoning behind these things. So even if it wasn't even named ast astrology, as some way, shape, or form, if you want to call it astronomy, right? Astronomy had to use a form of astrology to even understand what astronomy is. So astronomy would be uh, left brain and astrology would be right brain. Because for the most part, a motherfucker had to sit back and like, what's the meaning and reasoning to this goddamn shit? Right? Then it started calculating what the fuck it was doing. Then that became astronomy. Us calculating the movements. But astrology is, it just is what it is. That's a fire element. This is a water element. You know what I'm saying? This is an air element, earth element. And like it is what it is. Then once you start to understand it is what it is, then once you calculate it, wherever it's going, you will know what it's doing. So you won't just be oblivious to being like, Oh, that's just the sun and it, it just it just does that. You will be able to be like, oh, that's the sun, and this is the reason why things grow. This is the reason why we have certain conscious levels. This is certain why we got certain energy levels. This is the reason why you feel certain ways and when certain stars and planets is in certain spaces and locations when we get transits, and then you start to understand how uh, how life really got created. And right now we just using the term astrology. So I don't even want to argue with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between astrology and astronomy? All of it is goddamn astrology. Because you had to be aware of something first. Then once your ass start using your left brain logical mind and start analyzing what the fuck is doing, that became astronomy. But the presence and what the fuck you are in general, that is astrology. Astrology is about the goddamn body. Fight boss, bitch. Goddamn air. Eehee.